Hi Scorpio, welcome to Rays of Hope, Rainbow Light Love and Healing Tarot. I'm back, 10 months away, taking care of mom. It's been good. We got to learn, learn more about each other, very challenging. Anyway, so everything's cool right now and I'm back and I hope you help me build my channel. Um, subscribe, like, share, comment, help. Anyway, uh, today is the love reading, uh, the new moon in Sagittarius. Very, very cool energy, flow flow it's exciting it's positive it's optimistic uh, anything that we are thinking of focused on creatively and you know really in tune with our visual and our heart manifest bingo magician okay that's the magic personality <laughs> so anyway uh, love is magical so we're gonna do the reading today and so know that um, also tomorrow the 15th the uh, Venus moves into Sagittarius as well. We have Mercury there, a lot of conversation, communication. So I think right now, Scorpio, <laughs> I'm feeling that anything is possible for you right now, anything. You have that beautiful intuitiveness, very mysterious. You know, you know how to manifest and, so, and, and you know how to transform things. So this energy is magical. And know that on December 20th, Jupiter has been in Capricorn this past year, 2020. <laughs> we learned a lot, right? Ooh, things we didn't even want to know. But anyway, so now on December 20th, Jupiter is going into Aquarius. So now that we have our eyes open and see more clearly uh, the truth, the veils have been lifted. 2021 offers this energy of abundance, of luck, of positivity, hopeism, loveism, you know, everything that is um, optimistic and lucky, you know. So use this energy now. If there's anything that needs to be cleared out, let go of, forgive, surrender, heal. This new energy coming in is going to be wonderful. Really, really wonderful placement for everyone. And so take advantage of it because if you don't use it, right, we lose it. <laughs> So let's begin the reading, this love reading. And again, if it resonates with you, fine. If it doesn't, just take what resonates, leave the rest. Otherwise, there's some wonderful, um, really, really talented people on the circuit reading tarot that you might want to look at theirs, um, readings as well. And again, uh, don't force it to be anything that it isn't. Um, and just kind of just listen. You know, there's pieces here for everybody. So it's very understanding that um, it may not be totally for you, but we're reading for a collective, for everybody. So there's little different scenarios that might pop up and maybe it won't, but I'm finding the last three readings that I did, there was a lot of different complications for different situations. And so, um, and not situations, but new relationships have come in. So let's see what happens with you, Scorpio. Okay, and um, hopefully uh, we'll be very, very lucky and not be so complicated. <laughs> but anyway, here we go. And again, I'm not pink or red. There's nothing in my room that's pink or red. Uh, it's just the lighting. It's dark here in uh, Florida right now, but today when I was doing my readings here it was beautiful bright light. In fact, it was too much light, but now I'm looking pink and I haven't been in the sun. Believe me, that's one thing I don't like to do because you live in Florida, which I only came here three years ago to help mom out. Um, you'll definitely have damaging skin. So here we go. Scorpio. What is coming in? What is seated? The center will be a card that's in the heart, what is the situation in the heart? And the third card on the, on the right, which is your left if you're looking at me, um, is about possibilities and probabilities, um, spiritual message, um, something that will be confirming uh, an outcome or possibility, probabilities, because tarot is about probabilities and possibilities. It's not fortune telling. Okay, so here we go. What is coming in? What is seated? What's going on with Scorpio? Grace. Okay, grace. When we feel grace, we feel all, even the smallest things we embrace. You know, if they're graceful, all the moments, everything that we feel, everything that we process, new beginnings. Okay, so with grace, everything is possible. So some of you um, are in this moment of energy that you're grateful. You know, I'm going to read a little bit of what it says. No, don't, whoops. Don't mind me. 
I can't see without them sometimes. This letters are so small here, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> so anyways, here it goes, it goes, the frequency of grace supports our smooth adaption to and anticipation of life's currents and changes as we evolve toward a higher version of ourselves on this earthly plane, bringing the divine with the human essence. So again, whatever we are experiencing, okay, in, in this lifetime, it's with grace. Nurture it. Take it in. It's a gift. It's energy that um, will bring in the divine it's like a marriage of, of the human and the divine. It's grace, okay? So that's wonderful. Okay, so let's see what else is coming in for you guys. All right, let's see what else. Transparency, wow, okay, yeah. So with transparency comes honesty, right? Comes um, authenticity. People um, are being in their truth. We know how we all feel, right? So. It says here, the energy of transparency supports an expansion toward a higher vibrational state of being with more insight, honesty, and clarity, right? That's what we want in a relationship. So our hearts are um, in the right place, okay? So this is in the center here. Let's not press down too hard because then I will lose you. There we go, okay. And the last card here, Oh, that's you, sensuality. Yes, we need sensuality. Sensuality is, is, a, is a beautiful, look at the color of that. Sensuality, it's about love, it's about sensual feelings, it's also sexual as well, you know, that's how we connect with people. But sensuality is also in our senses, right? When we are sensual, we take in the, uh, it, through our senses, the energy that kind of, we just don't take it in, we kind of take it in and metabolize it, we, we taste it inside our body, right? So sensuality is, is definitely a beautiful thing in a relationship, which some of you are going to create that you already have, excuse me. <laughs> I'm gonna take them up because I have contacts on too. But anyways, enjoy this beautiful color. Look at that, sensuality, and I'll read it real quick. Um, the frequency of sensuality reminds us that as spirits in human bodies, we are sensual beings experiencing joy and pleasure from the physical world through our senses, right? Sensuality. So when we go outside, take a breath. You know, what does it feel like? What is it, what are you experiencing? You know, that's, that's kind of romanticizing your own life. So any of you who are solo here, any of you who are solo, who are, who are not, you know, in relationship with anyone, use this time to romance your own life, okay? Some of you are manifesting new people coming in. All right, work on all these wonderful attributes so that your relationship that you're manifesting brings in someone that is going to really enjoy your vibe, right? We wanna bring people in who vibrate, who are frequencies of the same evolving, right? We're not, we're evolving at the same place. You know, we don't wanna have codependencies and, and people who are like, we have to drag along. We wanna meet people who meet us, in the middle at least, okay? And also can be teachers. All right, well, we can teach them. So anyway, uh, let's see what else the cards have to show. And what I'm going to do now is um, our famous Romance Angel cards, right? We're going to just uh, pull some cards here real quick and uh, see where are these relationships in coming or here already? You know, what's going on in these relationships? What kind of energy is between everyone who's either solo, trying to manifest, just met someone or has been? already in a relationship. Let's see what's coming. Retreat, okay? So this could be a time where um, retreating is about many things. It's about healing. It's about a lot of things have happened coming into this moment that need to be looked at, you know, resting separate ways. Not necessarily, there's not a breakup, but it needs a pause maybe, you know, take a break, you know, a graceful break. So basically um, this is something that's very important when we're in any kind of relationship, right? It's not something we just need a break, even if we're married, even if we're married or in a long-term relationship, it's hard to retreat. You're, you feel guilty about it, but you do need it. We all need to be ourselves and be very, very individual um, and independent, you know, 
that is uh, something that we thrive on as well. You know, we, we need that to ident we're, we're, we're a unique being. Okay, so sometimes retreat will strengthen a relationship because you have that time to refresh and to replenish and to bring back new information, to share something interesting. So we have here, free yourself. Okay, so when we are honest and transparent, we are freeing ourselves from anything that, um, you know, we're open. We have nothing to hide, okay? So I feel that this with transparency is very important for some of you. Free yourself of anything that's hindering or blocking you from being yourself, from being authentic and truthful, okay? So free yourself. And um, also, this is very important in retreating as well, okay? So free yourself, retreat, take care of you, um, and your relationship will also uh, benefit from it. Now on sensuality, we have attraction. <laughs> I'm not surprised. So in these relationships, there definitely is a sensuality and attraction, and sometimes these uh, kind of relationships trigger um, emotions and trigger a process that we may not be waiting, ready for. So it could be the reason for a lot of you taking a retreat or stepping back, stepping aside, um, working on yourselves a little bit more. And those who are uh, waiting for someone to come in, well, these are just as important for every one of us who's solo or who's trying to manifest, okay? So let's see what else is going on. Let me just see how much my battery, my battery here, I hope it's not going down. Ah. Oh, we have 31%. Okay, we should be good. All right, next. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I don't want to imagine losing all this. Okay, so now I'm going to throw three cards down, and these cards are called um, Romantic Truths. It has nothing to do with the crowning energies of this, relation, of this reading. It just has uh, messages for us to, you know, on the moon, in the moon energies are revealing. They reveal secrets. Energy emerges from the unconscious and subconscious, things that we need to shed light on, you know, secrets, anything that we haven't looked at or have forgotten. So we're either going to shed light on it or embrace it, okay? So these are romantic truths, and let's see what's what we can work on that might even benefit um, either ourselves or any relationship now and in the future, okay? So let's see. Okay, so... It says here, grown apart. Now, some of us in our past relationships that have grown apart is because there wasn't any more attraction or, or how could I say this? Relationships do end, you know? It's sad to say, but we learn from them. There are lessons. There are uh, relationships that we evolve with and learn from. And um, there are some that we just are here just for a short time to teach us something, but they become our friends. So always know, be grateful for any relationship that grows apart. Be grateful for it. If you haven't done it in the past, you know, think about these things that might be worrying you, that you may have forgotten or you're holding on to. but growing apart is, is, is natural. It happens, it happens to many relationships. And so sometimes we try to hold on to it and it causes a lot of stress and friction and, we have to really look deeply and find out what is the reason why in the past we've grown apart or what is the reason why now maybe we're concerned about growing apart or maybe some of us have grown apart. This retreat, freeing yourself, being more honest with yourself, being a graceful retreat, you know, there's a time out here. So think about what has caused maybe some of this energy in this process to happen. Shed some light on it. It could be something that you need to look at right now before the end of the year. Okay, spiritual connectedness. So in this, what I'm getting right away, the spiritual connectedness could be something that's missing in your relationship um, and that's why you've grown apart. So look at it. Do you have the right mix? Has your sensuality and your traction worn? You know, sometimes after a year and a half, the honeymoon is over in any relationship, in some relationships, but we have fun, we learn something, and it's sad, but we're grateful, you know, and, and we're better for it, and we move on, and most of the time we, we stay friends, um, or at least we're acquainting ourselves still with our friends that we that we created through um, our relationship. So again, look at this, see where it is in, in your process, in your past, or in the present, okay? And the last one here 
is dedication. So, um, oh, is this dedication? Yeah, dedication. Okay, so let me just see here. Put these glasses on, man, because everything is all so small. Okay, so it says here, dedication. You and your partner are committed to this relationship. So this is always, um, whenever there's this complication, it's always about soulmates. It's always about people who've come together to learn and to grow. And soulmates, twin flames, those are hardest relationships, but they make us whole, right? We learn and we go to the next. If it grow apart, it ends, we keep on moving. And dedication is here, okay? Are you dedicated to making this work? Are you dedicated to learn? Are you dedicated to really, really open yourself up, open your soul? Dedication is very important in making a relationship grow and move to the next level. So this is a very deep process. So let's see um, what else is going on uh, with the tarot. Let's see what the tarot brings us. I know I keep taking my glasses off, but I, these cars, that, I mean, they're that tiny. I have my contacts on, but, you know, sometimes, you know, they're not enough um, for my reading. Those kind of uh, small fonts. Crazy. Okay, so let's throw some tarot. It's a star. I, I, it's a star. We start in the middle. First card, second will be your right, third, left, fourth at the bottom in the heart center. Because the center is the heart center, then the last card is in the middle of the heart. And then the sixth card is the final card of, uh, you know, confirmation or whatever messages spirit wants to give us. Or we don't know. Everything is in the unknown and the unknowable, right? We have to just be in the moment. Okay, so here we go. And I'm not pink. <laughs> I look so pink. All right, here we go. Okay, so we have the Ace of Staves right here in the center. Passion. Yes. You are dedicated to creating more passion in this relationship. This is a new beginning. It's exactly what this whole moon is about, this new moon and this end of year. Let go of anything that has been like scuffled or, or worn out and needs to be, you know, rebirthed, you know, renewed, you know, and that's what retreat is all about. And that's what is freeing yourself of anything that has not been truthful, you know, within yourself and, and, and really communicate. But this is a new beginning of really exciting passion, creativity, creating something together. So you are dedicated in creating something new and beginning, you know, for everyone. Oh, we have the Ten of Cups. So yes, what can I say about the Ten of Cups that you don't know already? This is right here in the first um, row under Retreat and Grace. There's love here. Yes, yes. We all want this wonderful feeling. Of happiness so with the ace of staves and the ten of cups a lot of passion a lot of uh, dedication towards a goal of of really really being committed so let's see ah we have contemplation so contemplation in the um, lovers path tarot is the hermit so this is definitely under sensuality this is a soulful quest this is bringing the past into the present moment, looking at it deeply, finding the light, shedding the light, and healing all the things that um, are keeping anyone from a final outcome of really, really dedication, happiness, love, passion, okay? Um, and it's through grace and, and through really just retreating, let everything filter through, right through your heart. Okay, so we have the two of coins. Finding the balance, yes, dedication um, in finding the balance in any relationship, especially within yourself. You know, make sure if you're busy, take time out. Some of you may not be, uh, right now it's a busy time of the year. Some of you are looking for jobs again. Some of you are looking to move. Um, and so these, this creates complications and imbalances and can cause a relationship to wither, <laughs> you know. So find the balance and make priorities. Uh, take time with each other to find the balance so that you can make the, have this dedication because that's something that might be missing right now in some of your uh, you know, uh, communication or in anything that you do together. Uh, time and balance, balancing that time to be together and making uh, you know, quality time. So that's very, very important um, in, in having a uh, harmony, right? So let's see here. We have one more card in the, in the heart of the, the reading. And we have here 
the Prince of Arrows. So there's definitely someone coming here that's who hasn't, uh, who's manifesting someone very young, very chatty, uh, someone who likes to give up a lot of information, uh, likes to share information. Some of you may have someone who's younger than you um, in this relationship, much younger, and um, they are the teacher in this relationship. They could be the person who um, maybe you don't listen to, <laughs> but they have a lot to tell you. And it's, it's really very interesting, honest, very uh, since, sincere, and, and, and very um, youthful. So let's see what the final uh, card is. And we have the Seven of Cups. Wow. So a lot of wonderful opportunities here for everyone. Okay, the Seven of Cups is what we dream about, what we wish. There could be wishes coming true for you this coming year. So basically, really clean out house, surrender, heal. Really let go and be more open. Open your heart, let grace flow, okay? And all these opportunities. And sometimes, don't get confused, really ground yourself though. Make sure you're grounded so that you're not confused with so much, okay? Because seven is a very spiritual number, and it's about a number that is within us, uh, this energy of a spiritual nature that helps us uh, sort things out of all this opportunity that you see here. A lot of opportunity, wishes coming true, possibilities, right? So it's all up to us to use this energy coming in in the best way possible so that we benefit, you know, um, the fullest life, epic love, if there is such a thing. <laughs> I know there's epic love within me and it always is within all of us, you know, loving yourself first is the most important thing. So let's pull out some um, final messages from the angels of Whispers of Love. <laughs> all the cards that I use are in the description, you know, if you want to know. But, um, you know, there's so many beautiful cards. I love, I love buying cards and, you know, <laughs> they're kind of, some of them are expensive, but they're worth it because they all have a different energy and they give, um, you know, the uh, artwork is different, symbology is different. So it, it definitely rings differently in a reading. It all depends. But anyways, let's see what the uh, Whispers of Love, what messages we have for you, Scorpio. I'm putting my glasses on. <laughs> okay. Listen with your heart. Remember before I said the heart has a brain? The heart is a brain. Um, it, it processes our feelings. You are listening, but need to hear with a loving heart. Yes. Yes, this is right here under grace and retreat. Don't give up. Open your heart and listen more with your heart, okay? Don't let your mind and your heart be in confrontation, be in conflict, okay? So let's go to the next card. Treasure your loved ones. Okay, it's important to love others in depth. So in our retreat, uh, in freeing ourselves, giving us ourselves time, you know, in your retreat, think about all the people that are looking for um, your attention. You know, people that uh, you might have looked over or taken for granted, your loved ones. You know, people that are in your life, but maybe you've forgotten they're thinking about you. Uh, perhaps they need to hear from you because this could be family. You know, it could be family and, and siblings that definitely um, have not been part of your connection lately. So really look at that because this is the time of year when people are thinking about each other. And of course, you know, it's not easy to travel now with, um, you know, the situation that's going on in the world. But, um, you know, Zoom. <laughs> and here it is, is the only thing that real is love. Shift your focus back to love, Scorpio. Okay, because this is something that's telling me that You've fallen out of grace, perhaps, <laughs> you know. You've fallen out of grace, you're retreating. Maybe you're saying, oh, I don't know if I want this anymore. This is, you know, this is difficult. Some of you are in that mode, you know, and you have to snap out of it, you know. Take time out, free yourself, retreat. And that's what's come up here for you. And you do have attraction. People are attracted to you. You are sexual, sensual, you have it all. But something has grown I'm tiresome um, at times. In, in, in ourselves, it could be the time, you know, but snap out of it, snap out of it. You're love, be love. People out there want to meet you, okay? So the only thing that is real is love, right? So that's all we have to do is just be love, you know? Don't worry about anything that's not 
happening on the outside. It's all going on in here. Okay? So anyway, I want to thank you for being with me today. It's been so much fun. And I so enjoy um, reading for you. And hopefully we'll see you again. And I wish you the best. Really, really, really. Lots of love. Lots of kisses. Have a wonderful holiday. Be safe. Bye.